Hello there students. Today in this video lesson, I am going to uh, teach you the topic uh, crop production and management. Uh, this uh, topic will be discussed in different parts in different videos. In this very first video, I am going to discuss about the birth of agriculture, about uh, what is crops and what are the various types of crops. So I request the student to kindly go through the video from first till the end and also to see all the various parts for your better understanding of the entire topic of, and also the entire lesson that is crop production and management. So let's get started. So um, crop production and management and the first topic that is the birth of agriculture. So agriculture is a practice for uh, growing of crops and also rearing of livestock for the benefit of mankind. As uh, agriculture is, a not, is not a new practice, uh, it has been learned since time in the by humans. But initially, human beings were actually uh, nomads, they were uh, gatherers, I mean, they do not have a fixed place or they don't uh, used to stay in one place, uh, they do not have a proper place to stay. So they used to roam around, they used to go around in search of food and shelter, right? But uh, lately they came to realize that uh, they can actually grow crop and they don't need to go for, I mean, they don't need to roam around in search of food, right? And they also, uh, later they also realized to rear livestock for the, as their food or for meat, egg or different purposes. Now, uh, in, in agriculture, different practices, I mean, different activities are done in an agricultural practice. The population has increased a lot. Now, it is very important for us to develop a new technique, new idea in order to improve the agricultural practice and to meet the required demand of uh, agricultural products. So, uh, here in this lesson, we will learn different practices or different activities that are done in agriculture. So, as we have mentioned, agriculture is not a new method. I mean, our parents, our forefathers, grandfathers, or um, they have been doing cultivation. They were farmers. They were. They have been farming and producing food. But now, uh, this uh, process or the method of agriculture is being dealt more technically in order to meet the demand of food as the population is increasing. Now we have to see for a better uh, technique and better uh, knowledge of agriculture, right? So in this lesson we are going to deal with the basic steps that are done in an agricultural practice or for cultivation of crop, right? So uh, first let us uh, see what is crop. So crops are actually the plants that are grown in a large area, right? Same kind of plant grown in a large area for their product is known as crop. So there are different types of crops. Uh, crops can be like paddy, wheat, uh, gram, maize, even vegetables also may come under crop, right? There are cereal crop, there are leguminous crop, uh, like the crops like cotton crop or uh, like they, some crops are for fiber, like some crops are as cereals, right? So different types of crops are grown. And these crops are also uh, categorized or are also classified into different groups based on the season they are grown. So it is very important uh, that uh, the temperature, the water, humidity, soil quality is maintained in order to um, grow the crop. So these are the very important factors that determine the type of crop grown in the particular area because area by area the crops grown are also different. So it is very important that the quality of the soil should be uh, the, uh, I mean the correct one or the amount of water in the area or the temperature must suit to the crop that are grown. Right? So here we will understand three different types of crops that are grown based on their season. Now let us see what are the different types of crops uh, that are available. In fact, uh, crops can be classified in many different ways. But the three types that I am uh, going to classify here is based on the season that they are grown. Right? So accordingly, uh, we can have three different types of crops based on the season or the duration or the time when they are grown. 
First, there is the Kharif crop. These Kharif crops are also known as the summer crop. Summer crop as they are grown during the summer season or during the rainy season when there is plenty of rainfall because uh, such type of crop requires a lot of water. So uh, certainly these Kharif crops are grown uh, mostly during the summer time. For example, paddy, cotton, um, etc. Then uh, next we have the Ravi crop. This Ravi crop is also known as the winter crop as they are grown during the winter season that is during the month of November, December or January when there is less of uh, rainfall and when there is less water as Ravi crop require less water they don't require much of the water as it is during the summer time or during the rainy time. You can also say that uh, by the end of the monsoon season or by the end of the uh, rainy season and with the onset of winter, the ravi crops are grown like the mustard, lentils, uh, etc. Then uh, the third type there is the jade crop. So these uh, jade crops are the intermediate crops which are uh, grown during the intermediate period that is in between of kharif and ravi. Like ravi crops during winter that is from November, uh, December, January or in February. Then these jade crops are grown from March, April, then till May. March, April, and May. Right? So they are the intermediate crops. Intermediate time. For example, watermelon, marshmallow, etc. So these uh, jade crops, they does not require much of the water and also not very much and not very less. So at a very intermediate time, or I mean you can say an average amount of water. Right? So such are known as the jade crop. So in this way, uh, the crops can be classified into three types as kharif, uh, rabi and jade crops according to their season. So um, in this video, uh, I have explained to you how agriculture came into existence. So agriculture um, came into existence, uh, I mean, uh, came into existence as soon as uh, the human realized the importance of settling down in one place because uh, to roam around or to go out in search of food every time is quite risky and it is not certain, it is not fixed also that you, will going to, you are going to get food and also you have a family because human beings live as a family so you have to feed your family member and it is not always very safe to move for searching food. Right? So that's why they somehow they discovered, somehow they learned the practice of agriculture and they started to grow some plant in their courtyard and they can get the product as their food. Right? And um, uh, as uh, agriculture is important because all living organisms, I mean including us, the human beings are dependent on food for our survival. And as because the population is increasing day by day, so it is very important that we improve our agricultural practice, we improve our agricultural technique so that uh, the production is high, so that the food, the need of food, I mean food is available to everyone. But uh, in country like India, our country India is a uh, developing country, still uh, there are so many poor people, there are people who do not have their uh, basically who do not have the three meals a day right we are lucky that we have a, a three meals a day we can have that food so we should not waste our food because there are people who are dying for food who do not have their proper food and proper food they are uh, deprived of nutrition they are falling ill they are becoming weak right so if you are lucky and if you are having and enjoying different types of food items you should certainly uh, respect it and also you should not waste food, right? So with this, um, thank you for this uh, discussion. I hope you have learned it and I will see you in my next video in the second part where I will be uh, discussing about the various uh, practices of agriculture. So with that, thank you so much.